if you're thinking that Christmas is just around the corner, you're battling with time, I'll go out and buy a dessert and I can't do it. I've just seen a chocolate log for seven pound in the supermarket, nothing special. And I thought, no, I'm gonna go home, make one, cost it and time it and just see how I do. Nine o'clock, I'm ready to go. I prep my tin first and then I'm gonna start with the ganache because that can be cooling. Breaking up my chocolate, heating up my double cream and then once that's just warm I'll pour it over the chocolate and set that to one side then I can get on with the sponge three eggs sugar and vanilla I'll whisk these up it'll probably take five minutes until the whisk leave a trail in the top of the mix I mix together my cocoa with the plain flour and sift that over the mix and then I don't get any streaks if I miss them to mix them together then stir these in slowly don't use your whisk for this because you'll knock out all the air and then transfer the mix into the prepared tin now this batter won't find its own level so you need to smooth it right to the edges and then bake for 10 minutes i'll measure out my cream and start whisking but my cake is done before i know it take that out of the oven just loosen it at the edges and then I sprinkle over a mix of just cocoa and caster sugar, lay over a clean cloth or a clean tea towel, followed by a cooling rack, and everything's still warm, by the way, and then I'm just going to flip that over. And then, because I've done the lining paste, it, the tin just lifts off, remove that cooling rack, and then whilst it's still warm, I'm going to roll this up. The cloth does all the work. I can just use the edges of the cloth to curl it right round on itself, enclosing the cloth as I, as I roll it up. And then I'll stand this on the cooling rack to cool out completely. Finish whisking my cream. My ganache is nicely stirrable. The chocolate's melted and it just stirs to a lovely, glossy, smooth finish. So I'm all good to go. And that lot's take me 40 minutes. Now, when everything's cooled down, I can unroll my sponge, like so, add in my double cream, and then I'm just gonna grate over um, some orange zest. This is just a tiny little satsuma. And then I make three lines in the cream, can you see? And in there, I add my fruits because it makes it easier to roll. It evenly distributes the fruit as well. I'm actually using cranberry sauce here because I didn't have anything else. And then again, I'm going to use my cloth as a guide and just help me to roll up that Swiss roll. Ignore the cracks because they're going to be covered up. It doesn't affect the taste. And this one is twice the size of the one I saw in the supermarket. The ganache is lovely and cool. It's just the consistency of soft butter. And I can use then a knife just to spread all around this chocolate log. And it's glossy and gorgeous. Don't forget the ends. Clean off the plate. And then all I'm using for decoration is leftover Christmas cake decorations. So this is what I call my no frills chocolate log. It took me maybe 30, 40 minutes to make and bake. Then I had to leave everything to cool and another 15, 20 minutes maybe to assemble. It will freeze. I priced it up even though I had all the ingredients in anyway and it came out at four pound and four P. Happy Christmas.